Panthers looking to start the year with a win. Plenty of goals with these two sides in the last two games. seconds gone in this one her to be's TJ Foster over that the Panthers come away with it good early pressure her to be's for Guptil for Pellini and it's over Olsen back into Pellini forward by the Flames their first real venture into the attacking zone cut back here the chance straight on sides against it shot is spilled by Garnett but Risling is there to make sure it doesn't go in it looked like it was going wide anyway yeah uh, good first save there by Garns but yeah puck up in the air no one was really too sure where it was but he made that first save and luckily uh, Jane and Risling was on hand to uh, avert any danger so Good start there by the Flames. First good chance, but good chance by the boys the other end as well. Hurt your beast with a nice play to Pellini. He just couldn't uh, direct it towards the net. Farmer over this one. Chance for the Panthers to break here. Farmer again over this one wins it once more. Kevin Henderson on the ice for the first time in a while. Can't do anything there though, and the Flames try and bring it down the other way, but Lapin's in the way and up to Farmer. Kovacs on this near side. Takes the shot, saved by Carosi, but it bounces out. And the danger is cleared up, is it, by Guildford, just about. Yeah, nice first shift there by, obviously, great to see Hendo back on the ice after so long out. And uh, Kovacs and Farmer combining well there to create a good chance. Golly makes a good save on Kovacs. Betridge after this one, Carosi left his crease. It's fallen here for Richard, shot was wide. Came onto that one nicely. Bolduc gives it back to Richard. Herty Bees wins out. <laughs> this time Guildford win the face. I've gone up to three minutes of play in this one. Both sides with a couple of chances. Hotubiz gets there first. Lita Pellini down this near side. Tries to push it on for Hotubiz.
Ferguson is 18 for the Flames. Takes it all the way around on his own. Comes back and has a shot. Good save down low by Garnett. Chance here back door for Ferguson. Body's in the way and it falls back and Garnett saved it once more. Yeah, really good save there by Mike Garnett. I think on that first one he was screened and made a good save and then this one he makes another good save and covers up the rebound. But good shift there by Guilford getting some zone time. And obviously Acker had probably one of their leading scorers there on the back end. So big, big save by Garnett against him. Guilford win the face off and it's back with Cali Akarid. Shot coming in and there was plenty of bodies in the way but it went wide. Falls here, fortuitously TJ Foster saved. Mike Garnett's busy early on. Yeah, a bit of a turnover there from the Panthers D but again Mike Garnett bails him out early on here. It's done, the Flames almost turn it over. Henderson putting the pressure on. Foster looking to work it down the left, but he can't get very far. Now Lakovic. Got no help, but Carozzi's left his net. Panthers looking to attack through John Rowe. Shot saved by Carosi. It was an early one. Tried to catch him off guard. Richard looking for Betridge there. But Richard will pick it back up dispossessed well Perlini battling for that one will he get there first on this just about Drops it off, it's gut till shot goes wide. I think it hit somebody on the way through. Rizzling again towards the net, Guptill can't redirect it. And it's up and away by Guildford. Panthers come straight back with Pellini though. Dropped off for Guptill. He's crowded out and almost gets on that. It's Guildford now attacking at pace. Dropped off there. It's TJ Foster trying to work something round. He's got Akarid back here. Rizling and Pellini do well, but the Flames have worked it round nicely. Chance there from the right, saved by Garnett. Yeah, Guildford really seems to have uh, sort of taken hold of this game the last four or five minutes now, getting the better chances, especially considering they played last night in Cardiff. And uh, missing a couple of import forwards, so they've definitely started the battle like they uh, they got the legs so far. But Mike Garnett stood tall. Olsen forward to Henderson. Nice work there, back to Kovacs from Farmer and they can't force it through. Good, some good work between Henderson, Kovacs and Farmer there. Played 7.40 in this, but still deadlocked. Redo there. Played 7.41 in this, and we're still deadlocked. 
Panthers win possession off the face-off. Try and come down this right with Rowe. Rowe and Hurtubees having to battle pretty hard for it and come away with it. Hurtubees reverses it, but Rowe was in a different position. Sellouts make a lot of difference. Can't hear anybody. Luke wins out there as we've played over eight minutes. Falls back to Boldu. Excellent ball back, but there's nobody there. And Risling retrieves. Back into Richard. Chance for Boldu here. Good defensive work by Guildford. Falls back for Richard. Can't sort his feet out though, and Betridge comes in. Rizzling towards the net, nobody in the way. Far side now, the Flames try and attack. Lee gets there first, however, and Akkerud now. Abt on this left. Akkerud decides to shoot Garnett, saves it once more. Falls to Abt in the end. But Hurtubis will get there first. Can he get it forward to Gup till he can't? Akkerud shoots, saved by Garnett. Chance for a rebound. Excellent stick there from Mark Hurtubis. And now the Panthers come the other way. Polini with Guptill. Penalty of the game then. Panthers, two minutes to kill. It's John Dunbar. Working it round, Akkerud misjudges it. And John Rowe can perhaps bring it the other way. Yeah, Flames is one of the uh, the better power plays in the league with Acura, Dunbar, Craig, this whole line. So obviously every time we give them a, a power play here, it's a great chance for them to uh, get on the board. So hopefully we don't take too many penalties tonight. It's Craig now, 44. Pass doesn't get anywhere. But Acura and Reddick. Good work from the Panthers so far. Less than 1.10 to go. Errant pass from Lindhagen allows the Panthers to retrieve and take some more time off that clock. 50 seconds before they return to full strength. Foster. Doing it all on his own. Falls for Ferguson though. 36 seconds left to kill Lindhagen. Back to him. Now Foster. Ferguson perhaps. And all the way up by Stevie Lee. 24 seconds.
Lindhagen to Foster. To the right hand side to Ferguson. Up against Gila Pin. Back to TJ Foster. Right hand side now. Back across to the left. A couple of seconds left. Davies. Ferguson pulls it back. Is that the chance? It is, and it's a good save by Garnett. TJ Foster had it. And now the Panthers can come the other way. Two on two. Guptill is one of them. It's blocked there. And then saved by Carosi. Yeah, big saves at both ends there. Garnett with a really big one there just after the power play ended. And then obviously Guptill, the leading scorer there, all alone in the slot. And a big glove save by Carosi to keep this one 0 0. The 7.41 to go in the first. Luke Pither standing over this one. Panthers lose out though. Janssen chasing after Lee, but Lee gets there first. Only gives it to Reddick though. Bit scrappy and Reddick tries to get it inside, but. Panthers now with Rowe. Rowe shot saved by Carosi. Pellini and Reddick back to this one. 7 11 to go in the first period. Still deadlocked. Panthers with the possession, Rizzling towards the net. A couple of bodies in the way, can't get any purchase on it. Back to Rizzling. Now Guptill on the spin wide. Tetlow around for Pellini, tries to get it back to Guptill. He does, he's under pressure, he works it well though and then he's forced off it eventually. Pellini with some good work there to try and win it back as Dunbar and Janssen bring it down the other way but Rizzling stops any break Guptill's trying to go alone he drops it for Pellini this time back to Guptill he won't get there but Hughes will less than six and a half to go in the first period dropped off Guptill there shot and he scored league's leading scorer gets one more to his tally Panthers one up yeah Guptill there obviously in the, the danger zone right in front of the net Great play there between him and Pellini. They've had the puck in that end kind of the whole evening so far. And a great play to get up there. He doesn't waste any time. Just a one-time, a five-hole. And that's what good goal scorers do. And he puts the Panthers up one nothing. this flames come out victorious there Rizzling though with space in front of him what's he gonna do he's gonna get the whistle but the Panthers keep going bring on the extra outfield man Balduk looking inside Panthers still waiting on this whistle Olsen, back to him, we know what we can do from that far deep. Pither with the shot first time, saved by Carosi, Richard on the rebound. Olsen again, back to Pither. Panthers will get a whistle in the end and it's saved once more by Carosi. 
Yeah, great job there by the Panthers, obviously getting uh, Garnett with a quick skate to the bench and they probably got 40, 50 seconds of six on five time. So couldn't find the goal, but now they're going to get two minutes here as Waller is going to sit for slashing. First power player of the night then for the Panthers. Kovacs, Olsen, Hurtubis, shot wide. We'll come back round for Pellini. It's 15 seconds. Well, Guptill trying to work something down low. Pellini will get there though when Ferguson can bring it the other way. He's got Foster up with him. So has to go on his own, but shot's no danger. And now Kovacs, Guptill, Hurtubis, Olsen. And Pellini will bring it the other way. Guptill left it for Kovacs, but it was Foster. 120 of this advantage left to go. Richard. Will it come all the way around for Rowe? Just about. Almost Farmer there was on the end of that. Less than a minute now remaining in this first power play of the evening for the Panthers. Pither assessing his options. Gets it back from Farmer. And then Hughes. Inside there, there's the chance. It was Richard, but it was saved by Carosi and Robert Farmer, who's never short from. Blowing up, that's a bit of a gap. Yeah, nice play there, Pither controls the play well, he hits Richard in the middle. A nice backhand attempt there, but crozy has been good so far and he makes another save. <laughs> 35 seconds then of this first power play of the evening for the Panthers left to go as Hughes now has it. And Pither. Down low, drop back. There's the chance there for Rowe to get his first goal since returning. Everybody's watching it a bit there, but there's a chance now, perhaps for Ackerid. Garnett almost puts it on a plate. But the Panthers come back the other way with just a couple of seconds left in this power play. Farmer almost flicked in there by Lee. And the Flames do a good job to kill that, and the shot comes in, but it's saved by Carosi. Yeah, good chance there. Both ways, Garnett with the first save, and the puck was literally right there for an empty net tapping, but obviously being short-handed, there was no one on the spot. And then the other way, Farmer makes a nice play, trying to hit. I didn't see who that was back door, but that went just over the net. But again, good chances both ways. Decent power play there for the Panthers. Balduke battling for this one with 3.12 to go in the first. Panthers up 1-0. Lindhagen though brings it the other way and drops it off. And now Ferguson. Right hand side shot grabbed by Mike Garnett. He's having a good game so far in his first period. Yeah, he's looked sharp so far, made two or three big Panthers can get it up the right end. Lee knocks it forward looking for Lakovitz. But he can't do anything up against the much larger defenseman. Crooks and Hughes. And Pither gets it forward there. Can Lakovitz get there first? He can't. Pither can though. He needs some help. Good player from Lakovic to win back the puck and Pither's got a chance here. Plenty of space out the right, shot saved by Carosi, tipped over. 
Yeah, good chance there from Pither. One of the uh, the better shots, especially from that position. So Carozzi again with a nice save. Less than two minutes of the first to go. Pellini now in possession. Thirty bees. Looks for Guptil, but falls for Janssen now. Looking all the way around for Dunbar. But Tetlow gets there, but it does eventually fall to Dunbar. Craig is 44. Towards the net, nice flick, but it's a good save from Mark Garnett. It was Cruz Reddick that thought he might have notched then. Coming up to the final minute of the first period. Last minute of play in the first period, final minute. Farmer and King inside the last minute of the first. Akarad. Farmer chasing after this one. Putting King under pressure. Henderson will do the same. Final 30 seconds of the first. Miss Abd knocks it forward. Garnett does the job on it. King picks it up though. Abt on this left. Towards the net, good save again. Ben Davies this time. And that'll do us almost. Yeah, good end to the period here for the Flames, even though the Panthers looks like they're going to end the period up by one. Flames will be happy. Probably had the better of the chances. A few pucks lying around in the crease there. They just couldn't. This and the Panthers get the stick on it and we'll end the first period one up. Second period underway. Alex Guptill, of course, with the only goal of the game so far. Foster and Pellini. And the Panthers should get there first. Lee looking for Gupta or Pellini and it misses them both. TJ Foster battle for this one and Guildford have possession of it. Some strong work there by the Panthers though. Pellini forward for Guptill. Still going is Guptill. Is it there to Hughes towards the net? Betridge was there, but he couldn't get his stick on it. And again, Lapin's blocked. 
Pellini first time. Carosi does enough to knock it wide of the net. Pellini picks it up here. Just over a minute played in the second. Flick on that from Betridge. And it falls for Richard and wide. Panthers with a few chances. And shots. Ah, that's soft. Yeah, good start there by the Panthers. Uh, Guptill again buzzing around, had a good chance. But now, yeah, like you said, looks like the Flames are going to go on the power play. I didn't realise I actually meant to say that was soft. <laughs> <laughs> Second penalty kill of the night for the Panthers. Boluk and Reddick. And now Dunbar. Craig back to number 90. All the way across looking for Akarid, but Lapinda's half a job there to get it away. 20 seconds killed. Jesse Craig brings the puck forward. And Bolt Duke knocks it forward out of danger. 40 seconds killed. Mike Garnett's not had to make a save yet as he pushes that one away from his net. Pither on the break, all the way on his own. Carosi. Stops it from going in. As we come up on the halfway point in this second power play of the night for the visitors. Yeah, great start here by the Panthers. As you can see here, they're just disrupting their whole kind of breakout. So they're not getting getting in with speed, getting set up now. Maybe they will eventually, but obviously over halfway through. Panthers done a great job so far. Craig and Dunbar on that far side. 44 is Craig is under pressure. Good work from John Rowe and the Panthers can... Knock it up the ice once more. That's 30 seconds of the man advantage for Guildford. TJ Foster trying to do one in all on his own. Lakovic loses it, but the shot is harmless. 15 seconds. seconds until Pellini can return Farmer and Foster Guildford in possession missed by Baldwin and Richard picks it up here shot comes in it's saved Farmer on the rebound can't get it out of the air and then Carosi gets his glove on it as Pellini returns to the ice Kovacs to Farmer. He's a bit isolated out there, but gets it back to Lee. Flicked there. Almost in. Dylan Richard was the man in front. Yeah, nice play there by Farmer. Just pulls up and hits the D-man. Good shot from the point with Richard in front. Nice work there. As we see Olsen's patented defensive play. Guptill reverses it for Pellini. Akarid 
trying to dispossess him. Pellini does well. Now Kovacs. But Foster comes in, regains the puck for Guildford. He'll now go all the way on his own. Try and work something back in across. Garnett gets there first. Davis was the man looking for the chance. Yeah, good skate there by TJ Foster, just dangling his way through the, uh, the Panthers team there and trying to set up Ben Davis. Guildford with a shot from the left. It's come off the inside of the post and fallen straight to Mike Garnett. Yeah, it's young uh, Josh Waller there, 62. He's quite a good up-and-coming young prospect. We haven't seen too much of him the last times we've played, but obviously with a few guys out, he's playing a lot more. So almost getting on the score sheet there, the youngster. Pither and King with Ted over five minutes of the second played. Lakovic. Gets on the end of it. But King comes in and wins it back for the Flames. Rowe gets his stick on it to keep it down this end, though. Jesse Craig gets it forward there. Now King through the middle. Shot was wide. Garnett was there anyway. Craig. Left-hand side now. King back up towards the danger area, but there's nobody there for Guildford. Bit of prolonged pressure for the visitors. King first time again, but it's worn by John Rowe there. Now Betridge looking to create something down the other end for the Panthers. left of the second, Balduk loses his footing but wins possession of the puck Richard down low, Betridge Post and Carosi stopping that one from going in Richard up against two two and a half, three and Betridge comes in and helps him Olsen back round looking for Betridge, but Lee will get on the end of it. Janssen gets there first, and now Reddick for Guildford. Davis looking for Janssen, but it's out of his reach. Steve Lee gets the whistle there. Yeah, he's got called for elbow now. I didn't really see too much wrong with that hit, but... Penalty kill of the period for the Panthers. Robert Farmer digs it out there and takes some time off to start this. TJ Foster has Ferguson Dunbar out on the left there. All the way back. And Foster's shot first time is blocked by Lapin. Oh. 
Flames will come again with 120 left of the third power play of the night. Lindhagen, shot from Dunbar, he's deflected and blocked straight away. Chance on the rebound there, but some good defensive work. Garnett and Lapin. More than half of this penalty killed. Reddick. Janssen. Dunbar, Ackerud and Craig. Shot there, that was very close from Craig right behind that one. Half a minute of the advantage left for the Flames. Ackerud has to readjust. Reddick and Dunbar down low. Pither gets his stick on it. Flicks it up out of the danger area. 12 seconds. As the fans create some noise with this penalty coming to an end, Ackerud. Craig shot over. Third successful kill for the Panthers this evening. Yeah, great kill again there by the Panthers. Didn't really let the Flames get set up too much. No saves for Garnett to make, I don't think, in that two minutes. Chance straight off here for Guptil. Looks to put it back for her to bees. Plenty of men back, though, for Guildford. It'll fall here for her to bees, though, eventually. And then a chance in front. Pellini, Guptil, it's all a bit scrappy. and Reddick with two seconds to the halfway point in this game. Kovacs. Far side Lee deflected Henderson on his return. Couldn't force it across and Corozzi jumps on it. Yeah, good save there by Corozzi. Kevin Henderson does that really well. Big body gets to the net there, causes some, uh, some traffic. And again, he's in just outside that blue paint, but this time Corozzi is equal to it. Foster launches the attack for the Flames. Kevin Henderson, left-hand side, got Kovacs with him. Ferguson will try to get it clear, but Farmer gets in the way. Thirty-five remaining in the second period. Panthers at one nothing. And Tetlow calms it down to Risling. in 
four minutes. Pither and King. Pither wins out and the Panthers can't create anything. It's Neither side really able to create anything in the last five or so minutes. Rizling to Tetlo. Good stick there from Le Pin or King might have been in. Bolduc drops it off. Shot, good save by Carosi. It was Betridge. Richard. Le Pin towards the net. Betridge on the spin. Good save again by Carosi. Two and 30 seconds against Betridge and Bolduc this time. Abt and Carosi in the way of that one. Yeah, great shift here by this line. Betridge with two good chances. It's good to see him shooting more pucks and Bulldog with another one also. Here is Bulldog now. Chris Reddick doing the defensive work. Guptill though, off the line changes. You don't want to leave him free, shoots wide. Pellini gets it back to Guptil. Got the only goal in this one so far. TJ Foster. Shot coming in, easily saved by Garnett. First thing he's had to do for about five or six minutes. Yeah, Panthers have been quite dominant since the halfway mark. Yeah, Guptil there with a really good chance. And uh, Betridge with a couple of good shots, and yeah, even though it's one nothing, there's a few good chances either way. Panthers definitely with the better this period. It should be nice to get one more and just pad that lead a little bit. Farmer wins out there and tries to win it back. Does so. Kovacs got Rizzling through the middle. Henderson on this left-hand side. Now Crooks. Foster. Looks to drop it back off. But the Panthers get the sticks on it and get it away. Pither and King. Five thirty-three to go in the second. King wins that for Guildford. Three on one here at the moment. Davis takes his time. There we see that a few times already from Dylan Olsen. Yeah, great play by him there, just uh, laying down, taking him out of that lane. Lindhagen was going back door. And yeah, great play by him, forcing him to make a, a pass that wasn't there. John Rowe was in the way of that, that was pushed towards the net. Pither for Lakovic. And Lee will pick it up. Chance for Lindhag, and then we got there first, but Garnet sticks out a left hand. Mm -hmm. 
Ready Kamboldu with 4.34 to go in the second. The former wins out on possession free side. Akarud from deep, that was wide. Abd back to Akarud. Reddick up against Bolduc here. Hughes is there as well, and the Panthers do enough to retrieve it. Janssen gets onto this one, though. 74 from the right, good save by Garnett again. That's three in a couple of minutes or so. Yeah, like we were just saying, he hasn't had too much to do this period, and then two or three good saves in a row there but yeah good to see he's staying sharp back there and a, another good save he holds on to the rebound and the Flames having a bit of a push back here just before the period ends just less than four to go in the second period Pellini TJ Foster Pellini overpowers in that gup tilt Jesse Craig through the middle for Guildford. Good defensive work, Steve Lee. Fans looking for a whistle on that. Nothing doing though as Foster. Ferguson. Pellini far side, Kovacs, Guptil in the middle. This is Guptil. Can he get his second of the night? Saved by Carosi. Had time on that, did Guptil. Tetlo for Risling and Craig. Now Henderson on his return to the lineup. Can't get anything going there. King set up for this. Lepin comes in and nicks it away for the Panthers. Row. Pither and Hurtubis. Here he is. Hurtubis. Good shot. Good save. Jesse Craig loses all signs of balance. Hurtubis. Inside the final two minutes of the second, Davis. Shot flashed past Garnett. Now Guptil. Evan Janssen can't get it under control. Steve Lee can. Gets it up for Bolduc, who drops it off for Richard. Richard back to Bolduc. Bolduc's shot is blocked instantly. Final minute of the second. Chance here, though, for John Dunbar. What's he going to do with it? Dylan Olsen once more <laughs> with that sprawling defensive play. And Mike Garnett as well. Yeah, that's two huge plays by Olsen defensively. Sometimes they go, you know, a bit unnoticed. But, yeah, two huge plays by him to keep this 1-0 uh, game. That's 30 seconds 
of the second. And Farmer wins out. Last 10 seconds of this second period. And we'll enter the third. The same score we entered the second. One nothing. Underway in the third as the Panthers are on the attack straight away. Guptill. Abbed far side. Shot saved by Garnett. Rebound perhaps. Ferguson loses his footing slightly under pressure from Hurtubies and Olsen. Gets in the way. Lee has got Guptill here. Good defensive work by Ackerud. Only three shots there by the Flames in that middle period. I thought it was uh, seemed like a little bit more, but obviously Dylan Olsen made a couple of good plays, and then obviously the rest didn't get to the net, so good period defensively for the Panthers. Good work from Betridge there to take the puck off Reddick. Please keep your eyes on the puts at all times with Bauer. Definitely more than three shots. Definitely. <laughs> Just over a minute played final period. Reddick and Bolduc. The Panthers with Lepin. That's popped up in the middle of nowhere. Retrieved by Dunbar. Shot coming in. Lapin takes the pace off it and comes away with it now. Nice work from Risling. Still going is Risling through the middle. Can't get his shot away. Comes back to him though. King now for Guildford. Far side. Blocked and it might still be alive here, but John Rowe comes in and gets it out of danger.
Far side is Davis. Towards the net, Garnett diverts it away. Baldwin deflected wide off row. Comes around the other side, Lindhagen. Towards the net again, bodies in the way once more. I think it was Steve Lee that time. Good start here again by the Flames. Like we said, not too many shots. They've probably had two or three already this period, so they've kind of had full control of this period and obviously down by a goal, looking to get back in this game. Excellent work from Gup till there. Will he go on his own? He will, and his shot comes off Lindhagen's stick and goes high and wide. Panthers win possession off that with three and a half played and there's a chance here for Crooks one-on-one -on -one with Garnett does excellently well and Foster's in on the rebound but Garnett's there before him yeah Garnett with a huge save there um, I didn't see how that puck squirted free there I mean Tetler did a great job to catch him up he's taken a penalty but hopefully he did just enough to put him off there and Garnett with a big save but Panthers back to the penalty kill as we've seen quite a lot tonight For the Panthers, Craig and Reddick. Accurate down this near side. Craig goes for goal and it doesn't reach it. <laughs> 25 seconds off the clock. Janssen. That will come through for the Panthers though. Into the neutral zone and Janssen chance here though short handed Luke Pither that'll even it up Penalty shot here for Luke Pither so he's been um, <clears throat> he's been pretty good in the shootout this year he's scored at least two so he'll get the chance here to give the Panthers a lot more commanding lead and double their score. Actually might work out in the Flames' favour though, because if he doesn't score, then they stay on the power play, whereas they would have been even and then short-handed. So if Crozy can come up with a big save here, it kind of gives him a chance to still be on the power play, but Pither's pretty good here. He's a shooter as well, so we'll look for his patented shot. 15.30 to go in the final period. Alex Guptill has the only goal of the game so far. Will Luke Pither add to that? Chris Carosi is the man in net for Guildford. Pither up comes, shoots, and it's just gone wide. Carosi did enough and watched it go wide of his post. Yeah, it was almost like Carosi did his homework there. And he uh, Pither likes to come in and shoot low blocker. And uh, it almost looked like Carosi was cheating that way a little bit. So maybe he had an inkling. And yeah, he makes a good save. And like I said, now the Flames still on the power play for a minute 13 here. So it didn't work out too badly for him in the end. Guildford went off the face-off and come immediately down the ice. Lindhagen. Good work from Bolduc chasing him all the way back, though. There's a minute now left of this fourth penalty kill of the night for the Panthers. Lindhagen across there to TJ Foster. Betridge comes in with the hit. Davis. Guildford trying to work an angle. Panthers rotating well. 40 seconds. Ferguson looking there. Back for Crooks and it's away by Risling. Yeah, good job here by the Panthers all night really on the kill. You know, Guildford are one of the better power play teams. They're still going to get their chances probably, but 
you know, they've really eliminated Acrid and Craig from causing too much damage so far, so. 10 seconds then of the penalty left to kill for the Panthers. TJ Foster, far side. Gila Pin not having any of that. And the Panthers are back to full strength. Rashad putting on the pressure. But it will come here for Lee. Pither beats everybody to it. Tries to pull it back for Farmer. It gets there eventually, but then Dunbar brings it away. Nice work from him down this near side. Tried to cut it back for Reddick. Garnett's there, and then Kovac just knocks it back to his netminder. Yeah, great skate there by John Dunbar, just uh, flying down this left wing and trying to take it to the net. But Garnett and Risling block him out there, and yeah, 13-39 remain. That one goal by Alex Gupta still remains a difference. Redick and Baldu once again the two over this face up. Both battled for it, but the Panthers have control. Far side is Pither. Hughes is on this near side. Farmer almost found him, but it's back to Pither. Farmer does well. Jesse Craig is keeping on the act as Luke Pither and they're still being held up against the boards there. The fans not very happy. Tommy Hughes sends one wide. Janssen is 74. Dunbar cuts one back, but Pellini's in the perfect position to pick it up. Although he's dispossessed immediately, and then the Flames get it out to Dunbar, far side. Ferguson. Ackerud can't control it, and Panthers can break down this side now. Alex Guptill into Pellini, but he can't get anything on it. Ackerud was in there as well. Chance through the middle, perhaps. Foster plays it. Ferguson. But nothing doing once more. Final 12 minutes or so in this. Lindhagen and Ackerud scores. Foster got a nick on the way through, perhaps. But Kelly Ackerud, he can do that, and it's one all. Yeah, we were talking about him just a minute ago. He's got such a bomb from the point. Like you said, it looked like it hit someone in front. Maybe the defenseman or maybe Foster. They kind of uh, congratulated Akrid, so I think it was him. But great play by Lindhag, and then he just delayed, delayed till Akrid was set up and then crossed the blue line. And yeah, big bomb from him from the point. And yeah, Guilford probably deservedly back in it after the performance in the third period. So 1 1 now with 11.49 left to play. If you have that ticket, go to Flames have a chance to immediately get another one. Josh Wallace saved. Duke and King and King wins out. Lindhagen. 
Bolduc and Lee more than battling for it down there. Penalty of the night then. Panthers have killed the previous four pretty successfully and that's a good start. Yeah, they've been really strong tonight on the kill. Obviously, giving up a goal like that and now going short-handed, Khan, you know, that you can see the uh, momentum coming here for the Flames and just late in the game, you don't want to give them a chance to take the lead, but hopefully they can kill this off and it still gives them a good uh, amount of time here to get the winner. A good... 30 seconds come off the clock there thanks to Dylan Richard harrying. Reddick got Ackerud on this left, goes the other way to Dunbar, saved by Garnett, puck still alive. Reddick to Craig, Ackerud, already seen what he can do, back to Craig. One more over, Reddick. Good work from the Panthers. One minute, three seconds to kill. Reddick first time, high and wide by a long way. Yeah, big save there by Mike Garnett with Dunbar just circling down there on the right-hand side. He cuts in, but Garnett's equal to that one. Betridge and Ferguson there. Betridge does enough and now the Panthers can try and keep it down this end for a bit. Risling will get there before anybody else. Thirty two seconds of the power play left for Guildford, Foster, Risling gets something on it, Ferguson, Crooks, Lindhagen and back to TJ Foster, Lindhagen grabbed by Mark Garnett. Yeah, nice save there by Garn's shot from Lindhagen from the point and I think Garnett saw that all the way so... for this penalty. Thirteen seconds left to kill for the Panthers and they win that and that will take the majority of the time off it. If not all as Jesse Craig brings it down. Paul Luke out of the box there. Akarid near side. Fires one in, saved again by Garnett. Good couple of minutes from him. Yeah, he's been strong all night, um, especially on the penalty kill. But yeah, he's he's been good all night long, and one of the main reasons this one. One Carosi has been good the other end too. He's been a little bit quiet at this period. Guildford definitely had the better of this third. Panthers just need to step up here and find a spark to uh, make one good play and get the get the goal that could give them all three, uh, all two points here. Hither and Foster, 8:52 in the final period to go. A little bit of magic from somewhere. Will it come from Farmer here? Pither. 
quick work, but Guildford are well on top of that. Farmer almost turns it over, but it falls nicely here now for Rowe. Just to get one in the middle, but there's a couple of defensive bodies there for the Flames. Garnett to Hughes to Rowe. Near side. Richard gets his body in the way of that. It's towards the net. Carosi bats it away. Richard and Akarid are battling for it down there. Might come around for Lapin here. Chance in front for Betridge. Can he force it across? No, Kevin King. Doing some good work there for Guildford. This is better from the Panthers. Shot from Risling, save Carosi. Hertubi is coming in. King again. Doing the majority of the work as Richard nicks it back. Fans want a penalty, but Richard's still going. Chance took a hit there off Abt, I think it was. Great shift there by the Panthers with uh, Risling pinching down and Hertubis and uh, Dylan Richard there. A couple of good chances. Hertubis saved by Carosi. Panthers well on top, last couple of minutes. Yeah, the Flames played last night in Cardiff. I'm probably starting to tire a bit now, trying to keep the game a little bit more simple. Hopefully can the Panthers can put the pedal down a bit here and just force force one home. Lead to Hertubis for Pellini. Reddick wins that and it's a chance maybe for Craig or Janssen Tommy Hughes does well though less than six remain in this one we're tied up at one Farmer Risling. In for Pither's shot was blocked from Jesse Craig. Now here he is on the other end. Number 44 for Guildford. That was a great chance down there for Pither. Nice uh, play. I think it was by Robert Farmer there finding Pither in a great spot. Goalie was screened, but he just couldn't get the shot to the net. TJ Foster puts it across. No chance there. Still alive though. Lindhagen. Risling kills the danger and Betridge gets it further away. Final five minutes of regulation. As Dylan Olsen nicks it away from Foster. Still going, he's the big number six and he can't get his shot all the way towards the net. He's had such a good night defensively, it'd be nice if he uh, was to go the other way and get the winner as well. Henderson now drops it off. Lapin towards the net, almost there. Hertubis was in and around. Falls for Ben Davies.
Akarad. The man that leveled it up. Knocks it forward for Reddick. Janssen takes over towards the net. Risling tried to grab it and he almost tipped it past Mike Garnett. Yeah, lucky escape there. Mike Garnett sharp though. He snags that one. The clock really is ticking down now. Are you here with the Nottingham Panthers? 3.31. Bolduc Reddick. Flames in possession. Craig to Dunbar. Bolduc dispossesses that. And will Betridge get there? No. And Guildford can attack now with John Dunbar. Right-hand side, looking for Reddick there. There was a gap in the net, but couldn't get it towards. Pellini now is all alone. Have to be magic, it looks it so far. Unlucky with the shot. Straight back in. Chance, Hurtubis, Lepin was in front there. A goal either way would... Surely win this one now. Lapin shot turn and he scores it. 2.36 to go in this one. And the Panthers captain has come up big. Yeah, Guy Lapin there, not known for his goal scoring all the time, but he sneaks down into the slot, gets the puck on his backhand. Great play from Herchabis there. And he throws him to the net on his backhand and gives the Panthers the lead with 2.36 remaining. Guildford in possession off the restart. Henderson, Pither, final two minutes, looking for Risling there, it's deflected into the crowd. Duke and Reddick with less than two minutes remaining. Panthers up oh, by that Gilapin goal. Richard. Here comes the dangerous Reddick towards the net, Garnet. Well on top of it, empty net now for Guildford. As they look to force something in the last 80 seconds or so. Steve Lee, Kevin Henderson on his return. What a story that would have been. Coming up with the final minute. It's Cali Akarid. TJ Foster and John Dunbar get there first. Panthers dig it out. Pither will get there. Can he get it square? There we go. Justin Kovacs has put it out of reach of Guildford with 44.9 seconds to go. 3-1. Yeah, great play there all round. Pither with a nice chip and then unselfishly sees Kovacs in a better position than him. He dishes that over to Kovacs and he's not going to miss the empty net. 
Great game from Mike Garnett. He's been rock solid back there. And obviously it's good to see guys like Guy Lapine scoring. And Kovacs puts the icing on the cake there. And he'll finish that one off. The Panthers will win their second in a row. Chance though, back door. Oh, great chance there. If they'd have scored that one there, 20 seconds still is uh, a big, big ask. But great play there by Lindhag, and he finds Crook's back door and just off the bar and out. And could have made the game in the last 20 seconds a bit more exciting for the Flames. Alex Balduk, TJ Foster and Balduk wins possession. Panthers with the puck. And that'll do it. Two goals in the last three minutes or so. Means that the Panthers. Thank you. 